Hey everyone, it's Amy. I am going to show you how to sync your edits up so that you don't spend forever editing. Um, what I have here, so down here I've got four pictures that are flagged. These are, each one is a different pose and when I'm at this location and um, when I'm doing seniors, these are um, four poses that I generally do uh, with them just because just by moving, you know, their arms or, you know, just by subtle movements, it is a totally different pose. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to um, do a quick edit on this image here so that we can um, get it looking how we need to so that we can sync up the images together and I think that's a little too warm this time. I don't really like that. I'm going to close this over here. I'm going to just use my slider because I want it just a little bit different. Not a lot, but a little. Okay. Uh, okay. We're going to go right there. I'm going to bring these up, bring this down a little bit. And then I will come down here, I'll make, oops, not that far, I'll make this adjustment here, go back up, see if there's anything else that I want to do, uh, I think I'll keep it, the shadows up a little bit, and the blacks, see the difference and if I take out the box then she becomes a lot lighter I don't really like that too much I like having that the box in there because you like to have that contrast but I am going to use the tone curve in um, bringing down some of the highlights in the photo um, so what I am going to do next since these images right here are all the same I am going to press down on my control button and then I'm going to left click on my mouse at the same time. So you keep the control button pressed down and then you left click on the mouse. So I already got this one done because that was my sample one. Then I'm going to go click, click, click and then you can let go of the control and then you move your mouse up here. You go to settings and then you come down here to sync settings. What I have checked um, I keep all of these things checked right here. Pretty much everything that would look the same in the picture. I, I had this checked earlier for a different reason. Um, I usually do not have these checked at all because generally when you apply a graduated filter or radi radio filters, they will um, be at different places for different photos. But if I wanted to do a graduated filter on uh, this picture here I could have and I could have chosen this right here and it would have synced them all up and pretty much looked exactly the same because she's sitting in the exact same area we have four different poses without her even move actually this one right here too if you can see it that pose right there was one of them as well um, this is an already edited session that I still have the unedited photos still in here for these kinds of teaching purposes so I have five different images that um, are five different poses that I was able to do right there without her even having to move. So, um, so back up here. So I I don't keep most of these checked except for the lens vignetting. If there is any, I usually don't apply any vignetting. Every now and then there is a, a preset that has one. And honestly, most of the time for me, I take it out. I just get rid of it because I'm not a big fan of um, vignetting. So, uh, and I, I don't check these right here either because if you're moving a, if you're removing a spot, say in this picture, it may not be over here in one of these pictures. So I would just do that manually rather than when I'm syncing the images. So you make sure that you know. Things are checked accordingly, and then once you check them, they stay like that. Like you don't really ever have to change them, unless you wanted to, like for something like this. So I am now going to press synchronize. So when I press synchronize, watch what happens right here. Bam, bam, bam. They're done. That's it. That's all there was to that. So 
Next one looks like that. Next one looks like that. Next one looks like that. Love it. So that's how simple it is to synchronize your images, and it makes it so much easier when you're editing a session. Um, this session, she had 68 edited pictures, and I was able to edit this session in an hour. And the reason being is because A, I know my editing style, B, I generally get my images right in camera, and C, because of knowing how to sync my images up because I can batch edit. Um, see, she had all of these that were, you know, kind of in the same area, so those were all able to be uh, batch edited. She had these right here that were batch edited, so I was able to edit this one picture and then sync the rest of them up just the same because nothing has changed. Nothing changed from this picture to this picture. So you just sync it up, bam, you're done. So no sense in spending all that time trying to figure out how to make every single picture look exactly the same as the one before when everything about it was the same. So she had these pictures up here. They were all the same. She had this picture here, and then you go across here. Every single one was edited the same because we did um, batch editing. So hopefully that will help you and encourage you to utilize your batch editing because personally I think it's the most powerful thing that you can do in Lightroom. I'm not a Photoshop user for editing so I don't know if you can do this in Photoshop too but it's one of my most favorite features in Lightroom. So hopefully you all enjoyed and um, can spend less time editing and more time with your families.